So 20 years ago, I was driving home from Berkeley and I got a phone call and it's uh, somebody from the Boston Celtics and they want to know if I can come in to the, uh, what was then known as the Fleet Center uh, to play guitar for the opening of uh, a Boston Celtics basketball game, playing the national anthem uh, with a well-known singer by the name of Chubby Checker. Um, come to find out uh, that he didn't realize that he needed an accompanist until he got there and, and he was in the middle of it. So, uh, so they, they call me like at the 11th hour, I was like, look, I know it's late, can you come down here and, and help us out? I said, man, you know what? This really actually sounds kind of like fun. So, um, so, I, so I ran home, grabbed my acoustic guitar, this one actually, and uh, I, I drive over to what was then known as the Fleet Center, now it's called the Boston TD Bank North Garden. It's changed names uh, a few times actually. And um, so I get there and they take me into a rehearsal room and I meet Chubby Checker and it turns out that when he gets there, he realizes that he's in a little bit over his head. His original plan was he was just gonna sing it a cappella. The problem was, if you don't know this about the Star Spangled Banner, it's the, the range of the song is more than an octave and a half, which, you know, if you know singing, that's, that's, that's kind of a big ask. It's an unusually difficult national anthem to sing. Uh, so, uh, so I kind of sit with them and I realized immediately that my job wasn't really to accompany him or to come up with any cool guitar parts, anything like that. He just needed somebody to sort of help him get through it. So as soon as we figured that out, I just kind of said, okay, okay, Chubby, so listen, what's the lowest note you can sing? So, you know, we try a few things. <laughs> six and lower notes, and he goes, so we figure out whatever the lowest note is. And then, okay, Chubby, what's the highest note you can sing? G, uh, the highest note I can sing is G. So. Okay, so if G is the highest note that you can sing reliably, then when you're singing the Star Spangled Banner, the highest note in that song is the, uh, let's see, and the, ro the, the rocket's red glare. And the rocket's red glare, that's the big high note. So if you can sing that note, you're pretty much home free because everything else is gonna be lower than that. So I ended up hitting a G chord first, and then, oh, here's your opening pitch. I kind of whispered in his ear when we get out there, oh, and then he sang, oh, so can you say, da, da, da. and then uh, it goes, goes through the whole thing, hits the high note, gets everything, and then really all I did was kind of play chord behind. You know, so everything I did was really just to kind of be there with him and to, uh, to reassure him that everything was going to be fine. He did great. And I think the moral of the story is, first of all, confident enough to realize that he could do it, but also humble enough to realize that he was in a moment where he needed help. So he went to them and said, hey, listen, I need somebody to come out there and help me. So, you know, we got together, we figured out what the problem was. Uh, he went out and just did a great job and with the best moment afterwards he like gives me this big old bear hug and he's and he just kind of goes oh thank you so you know I'm sure nobody remembers it uh, except me but it was it was one of those that, that was one of those uh, moments of life that's definitely one for the books